everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing a recipe for sloppy joes with you. Now sloppy joes is an American thing. I'm not sure if this is 100% a sloppy joe recipe but I originally found this recipe on Jamarelle Stewart's YouTube channel and it's one of her only recipes I've been able to follow that is slim and world friendly and it's also quite low in calories as well. So if you're following slim and world this is completely sin free. For the sloppy joe mixture it's completely sin free and if you're following calorie counting it works out to about 216 calories per serving and that's just for the sloppy joe mixture not for the chips or the salad or the roll or that that you see in this clip but this is a nice quick and easy recipe it doesn't take long to make at all and it's really really tasty as well so this recipe serves four and here are all the ingredients we need to make it 450 grams of 5% lean steak mince, some fry light, half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of pepper. You can either use one small onion, but I'm using two tablespoons of the dried chopped onion because I usually make this when Mark's here for dinner and he does not like onion. So when I put this in, it gives the flavour of onion but not the texture. One cup of Diet Coke, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, and one small can of tomato puree. So the first thing that I do is spray the pan with fry light, then chuck in the mince and fry that off for a few minutes until it's all nice and browned. And then I throw in all the other ingredients, bring it to the boil and then turn it down to a medium heat and let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes until most of the moisture has evaporated. And that's it, it's as simple and as straightforward as that. I usually serve my sloppy joe on a wholemeal roll, which if you're following Slimming World would be a healthy extra B choice. If you're following calorie count, and it would just depend on what brand you're using, but they're usually between 150 to 200 calories. And you do need to toast the roll before you put the sloppy joe mixture on it because otherwise it'll go really soggy on the bottom. And usually I just serve this with a salad and some chips. Sometimes I'll put some cheese on top of my sloppy joe mixture. It just depends if I have the sins or calories left for the day to have cheese. But thank you so much for watching this video everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like it if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.